Hello guys, so today I thought it might be interesting for you guys um, and for other people um, that are looking at you know similar subjects um, as to how I edit my videos um, and provide the content that I provide to YouTube uh, to you guys and basically yeah like I say I just want to show you guys how I edit and organize my my videos um, so basically um, when I record something from my, uh, co my camera I take it straight off of uh, my memory card but I only keep I only copy from my memory card I don't you know cut it from my memory card the, the video files I, I copy because if I make a mistake um, you know then it's it's going to be a problem I need to be able to re reverse that so um, I take a copy and I put it into this folder here which is my memory card folder uh, I've got some other folders here as well like um, mixers that I've done some like audio uh, some you know, music and stuff um, but I've got other different folders that I use so open music so this is basically open source music um, that I can like drop in to my videos um, I've got uh, screenshots that I've edited that I use for thumbnails I've got some projects ongoing projects uh, and scripts you know sometimes it's really good to have a script um, a lot of my videos are unscripted um, but sometimes especially if you're doing a long video um, and you want to make certain points it's good to have a script um, so you've got you know really good things to just blurt out I mean like this video that I'm making now there is no script for it it's literally coming as it is um, and yeah I've got um, thumbnails which are completed so I take my screenshots that I use that I want I drop them in here and then when I edit them I put them into thumbnails because then they are finished um, and what I also do is I have another folder here called used and basically what I do there with that folder is with the um, files that I have got here um, when I've finished a video I put them into my used folder um, and basically this if I want to go if I make a new video and I want to refer back to something um, it means that I can go back to a particular section or a, a bit particular you know thing or whatever and I can get it from there and um, you know drop it into my most recent video so if I do a video um, like a part two video and you know I want to refer back to something that I've previously mentioned in another video I can just open this folder here find the, the, the video drop it in cut it get what I want and then you know carry on so that's basically what that's for so far I haven't had to use it yet um, and as you can see there is nothing in it it's empty um, so yeah I mean a lot of the time when I've done with a video I tend to just delete it um, and then when I've finished a video and I've finished editing I put it here in done it's pretty straightforward um, and like I say, I copy everything onto my from my memory card into this folder called memory card. And the reason for that is because I use Windows Movie Maker. Um, and also, like I said, I, I have a, a backup, obviously, on there as well. But I use Windows Movie Maker to edit my videos. It's It was free back in 2012. And, um, yeah, it basically allows me to do really quite a substantial amount for I say really substantial it's it's very very simplistic it allows me to cut it allows me to copy and paste and you know move things around 
um, and into a, a relatively you know fine detail which is really nice um, and like I said it comes it came with uh, I think it came with Windows 7 um, but obviously you can't get this anymore unless you download the Microsoft Essentials pack which is obviously technically not supported uh, and Microsoft don't actively provide this they provide it with um, uh, another application uh, the photo application or whatever it is and the video editing thing from there is just horrific or at least whenever I tried to use it I just could never do it and I find Movie Maker so simple so easy it's really really nice um, but like I said the thing is is that sometimes this this um, can be incompatible with certain things or like if I do something wrong um, I don't know something it, it, it just crashes sometimes it's not exactly the most stable um, anymore and yeah it's it's kind of annoying when you've spent like two or three hours editing a video because that's kind of normally how long it takes me to edit a video um, yeah two to three hours sometimes maybe if I do a video really well I do just minimal editing um, but yeah so this is I'm going to start with this okay so this is going to be a video um, that I want to edit I it's it's really long it's 28 minutes and that's just part one and the second part is also 28 minutes uh, so that's like a uh, basically a one hour video on basically repairing one laptop I mean it doesn't necessarily need to be one hour long um, there is good content on there I guess and you know it could be very helpful to some people uh, when I put it on my channel but um, yeah you know uh, two hours uh, sorry an hour on repairing the video it's really really long and you'll find that most people on YouTube they just want to see what it is you're doing how you did it and then they can just do that thing themselves that's literally all they want to do they want to see how you did it how did you do it I did it like this okay thanks bye that's literally what it is um, for a lot of people and trying to keep people um, you know interested in your video and watch you from step by step right from the very beginning isn't very often unless it's somebody that's very enthusiastic about that particular topic and they want to listen to you they want to watch you they want to see what you're doing and how you're doing it and the detail that you're going into doing those things a lot of people that watch these videos especially repair videos are watching your videos because they have something that they need to repair which is pretty much exactly the same as you or has the same issues as you so they want to just watch the video because they just want to get this thing done so they want to go to your video, they're going to see what you did, they're going to listen to the introduction and then they're going to basically guesstimate how far into the video they need to skip to see where you finalised the repair and how you did it. So they'll, they'll skip through bit by bit, they'll get to a point, you know, and then they'll say, ah, oh, okay, he did it like this, okay, and then that will be the end of the video for them they'll go and fix their own machine and then that's it they're, they're done they're, they're not really that interested in you know like I said unless they are enthusiasts that are really interested in what you do and how you did it anyway that's just my take my personal take uh, from what um, is I guess my experience so far with my particular field of um, content creation so um, I mean sometimes even that's what I do you know if I want to find something out I'll, I'll look you know how do I fix this how do I do that uh, and then you know I'll just kind of bit by bit skip through and go ah he did it like this and then you know I'll take like five or three or five minutes be be either side of that repair to see how he did it and how he finished it and you know see how it worked and why um, and then that's pretty much it anyway 
I want to show you how I edited my videos so uh, I do need to change a setting on this because I tested something out um, and I unchecked this which is basically caching and it made my videos um, upload much much faster to this uh, movie maker but yeah editing was a real pain um, but I found it was a bit more compatible it was just a bit a lot slower and my computer isn't exactly slow so um, I just grab this video and I drop it in here and it's already loaded the data because I already had this in my movie maker so it's probably cached already so anyway the start of the video hello ladies and gentlemen there is already a huge delay okay of I don't know what's this three seconds of nothing you know why I don't need it you know that's basically me pressing the record button and you know, um, then getting ready to prepare for my speech. I don't need this. So, or at least you guys don't need to see this. So when the video starts now, it's going to be literally straight up. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So today I'm going to be looking at a HP Pavilion. It's a 17 inch E16 3SG. So notice that in that little section right there, there was a bit of a pause. Yeah, because I was actually looking um, what I was looking at my phone to see what this machine was because um, I, um, I actually, there is no model number written on the back of this thing. It was something like FP some whatever. And um, it wasn't like very clear to me what model this laptop was. You know, it, it, it's not like a, a Dell uh, Latitude you know some whatever model I don't know five 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 whatever um, you know it was uh, uh, it's a, a HP pavilion 17 inch e16 something or other um, but on the back of the the laptop it said uh, under the battery it said something like FPT 17 one two X you know some random loads of random it's just it's like it was like almost like a no model thing it was just weird so yeah i i was reading from my phone uh, and that's why there is this pause because actually i forgot half of what the model number was 16 3sg so what i can do here is i can skip that uh, and i also check what's happening on the video yeah, so I can actually just cut that bit out because if you have a look here, my left and right hand, they're the only two moving things in this video at this point in time. So I can um, cut out that pause because it's unnecessary and then it makes me sound a bit more concise. Uh, so let me go to here. 17 inch E16. I can split. And I just heard my voice literally just starting. So I can press back one frame. I think that would be enough. I can split that. Okay, so I can take this as far as I can right to the to the to the to the, the my voice. When, I, when it comes to splitting, delete that section there. Because like I said, there was there is no movement of my hands really. Uh, so it's gonna look very consistent when I play it back. And at least sound consistent. HP Pavilion, it's a 17 inch E16 3SG. Um, so, you know, that sounds a little bit more concise, a little bit clearer and more you know there's no breaking there's no stopping it's just it's an e16 blah 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 it's not a e16 uh or a e16 mm, or e16 blah 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 it's literally an e16 this that the other and it's consistent it's clean um 
so I can you know go to the next bit I need to edit and the issue with this machine is basically that when the power button is pressed um, it, it, intermittently the display does not show and as we see here there is no display so I, I you know I, I didn't I don't want to edit this bit out even though there's there is silence and there's nothing there but there I, I don't want to edit this bit out because I'm trying to prove a point to the the people that are watching my video that when I turn it on there is no video on this machine and I'm going to show you that there is no video on this machine when I turn it on so I turn it on and look you know you don't see anything happening that's the problem so now people know what the problem is of my machine I can then go in to uh, you know taking this thing apart and figuring out what it is that is causing this issue but if you connect it with the HDMI output it gets a video so this is probably something to do with the screen or the screen area um, I have seen that this screen does work and there are no cracks or damage to it so I assume it's probably something to do with the connector um, on the board so there is another edit I am going to make and if you notice around this area here between here and here I kind of paused and I said um and then I carried on again to finish off the end of my sentence I don't want that probably something to do with the connector probably something to do with the connector and I made a noise or banged something here um, on the board connector to do with the connector so I'm gonna try and get rid of that and there you can see just there the little peak of that bang that I did knocking whatever I knocked so I can split here possibly uh, I need to check to see if my hand because my hand is not there and I believe my hand is here something to do with the connector um, on the board so <coughs> Let's see. You know, I can control Z. And maybe I can just go after this here. A couple of split it right there. Because I don't want this um, um on the board. Um, and then like one frame split so it's a kind of like this is quite normal I mean this is how I do it anyway it's probably something to do with the connector on the board uh, connector on the board so sometimes you have to go over certain things over and over again to try and perfect it but you get the general idea. There's a lot of things. Probably something to do with the connector on the board. So, control Z. Maybe I don't need to. Control Z. Edit so far. Because I guess that's the. Um, And I can just split that here instead. To do with the connector on the board. So I got rid of the um. That's pretty much all I wanted to do, and you know, speed up my sentence a little bit at the same time. So yeah, that's fixed. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shut it down completely, and then I'm going to just start taking it apart. 
So now I'm going to state, start taking this machine apart. Um, so I've got a choice. I can leave this in. If I say something halfway through that I think is important to you or, you know, um, there's something I really want to show you because uh, it's 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 really important that you do this when you take it apart, this particular thing or whatever, um, then obviously I'll keep this in. But it takes quite a long time to disassemble a device, and which is why this video is quite long. So... <clears throat> Because there's nothing so special in this video that I can say, yeah, okay, um, I need this to be in, this the whole disassembly, um, or even just, you know, parts of it, I can stop the video, you know, I can stop the video uh, and to a certain point and cut out all of this disassembly to a certain point where I would like it to then continue. Uh, so for example, let's say. Completely. And then I'm gonna just start taking it apart. So I can do it just before I disconnect the battery to make it look a bit cleaner. Start taking it apart. But I'm doing a lot of moving, so maybe I, it'd be better to do it after the battery section. So we take out the battery because obviously we don't need to deal with that. And then, now I've finished my sentence, I can probably go back a little bit with my cursor. Let's just check. Don't need to deal with that. Yeah. And now I can check. I can go through all these little sections where there is this volume, you know, that's probably me talking. There's my big head. I don't want my, you know, my head back in the back of this video. Um, uh, so, you know, I don't want any of that. So let me... It's good that on the board it tells you the sizes of each screw. What goes here. I don't know where my sound's gone. Right there. That's interesting what happened there. It's good that on the board it tells you the sizes oh, okay. of each screw, what goes here. See that there? See, I mean, this is kind of like useful information, but I mean, a lot of this is just common sense. I don't need to show you guys this, you know. So that's nice. So you don't get mixed up in microscopic screws there. I mean, how long does it take to be to this actually disassemble this thing? Let me take this out from this side first. I don't suspect I may need to undo anything on the cube. Yeah, so I just basically talk about the disassembly. Okay, so that's where I kind of fixed it. So and. this panel looks pretty okay so now I'm at this point where the the disassembly is pretty much finished and we're 14 minutes into the video I can skip all of this and you know what I can delete it look at that my video has just dropped by 15 minutes so now I've gone from here to now I can disassemble it here. Now it's disassembled. I'm at that point where I haven't touched the board, so I can still go through my diagnosis with people. And um, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's saved a lot of people's time. 15 minutes of me trying to disassemble a, a machine. You know, it's unnecessary. So. Because obviously we don't need to deal with that. On the uh, palm rest. So we need to focus on this area here. So my huge head was again in the way. And I need to find a section where. 
So we. My head is not. Unfortunately. So. Uh, actually, I could just get away with it because I start saying so here and that's kind of what I want to have um, Don't need to deal with that. so we need to focus on this area here so this is the cable that's going into the monitor so why the heck is my head in my videos oh my god this is really annoying. Let's take a look. Actually, I really did not think that this was in my videos at all. Let's get that off and put that there for a moment. Let's zoom in. And I hope to God that it won't start zooming in. On that area. Just a little bit. My head still does not get in the way. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do now. Thank you very much. Is I'm going to power on the laptop. Maybe this will be a really easy fix. So considering that half of this whole section here has got my fat damn head in it I'm gonna kind of try and remove that um, <laughs> but yeah um, you get the point yeah, of video editing and you know like I say I can add music if I want to also uh, let's see open source music so let me find something that's you know, I can have some like background music, uh, like what's this? Oh man, it's like I never used this computer. That doesn't sound like background music to me. Nope. What about this one? Uh, not really. Come on. I've used this in some of my videos for background music, uh, but it's not really what I'm looking for. What's this? Ah, this I think is cool background music and I can like drop this in somewhere especially like if I was taking the taking the thing apart and I wanted to fast forward it you know I can silence the video just drop that background music in there right and there's some music and we're just watching me just tear this thing apart you know and there's no talking it's just music and just me tearing apart this machine. Um, I can do it like that. Um, but yeah, it's it's technical. Um, you know, because I could have been, I could have planned it out and been like, yeah, okay, so let's get into the repair. And then, you know, done two, two straight up cuts for that 15 minutes of like stripping uh, this machine down drop some music in there okay and then um you know fast fast forwarded it by like i don't know by 32 times to just you know make that strip down 15 minutes instead of it to, to like uh, two minutes you know of tearing this thing apart there's a bit of music in there and it's just cool um but sometimes i just really don't want to do that and i don't think that in certain videos it's necessary my computer wants to update so uh, yeah sometimes I don't think it's necessary to do that so yeah I mean 
Um, it is personal preference, I guess. But, you know, the other thing is, uh, as well, is that um, this video in total, unedited, is one hour long. Um, normally, my videos that I record are about an hour to an hour and a half long sometimes. Um, by the time I've finished editing, they're about 20 minutes um, to even sometimes 10 minutes long. A lot of the content is gone, um, mostly because it's a lot of it is unnecessary. And yeah, I mean, I could upload the whole thing, but then peep, nobody would watch my videos because or subscribe to me more so because people would be going, well, he does these repairs, but it takes him like two and a half hours to strip the damn thing down, find the problem and fix it. I mean, yeah, that's great. I mean, if I was doing a live stream, fine but i'm not i just want to show people how people can look for the issues on their machines so that they have something that they can go off of and have an idea so that they can look into their machine and go you know what i've got a similar issue maybe if i do what chris does i can probably fix my machine too and that's the whole point of my channel um you know maybe one day i'll start doing live streams of repairing my my machines um or customers machines but until then you know my customer base uh so for example my youtube subscribers is is quite low compared to a lot of other repair channels so at the moment i don't really need to do that there's nobody uh you know that's saying to me yeah chris you know you need to, let's do a live stream or you know something like this um so it's unnecessary and not only that i don't really have so many things to repair at the moment uh, I'm not in a repair business uh, I do work in IT but that's just that's my you know my work um, that I, I, I go to an office for um, at this YouTube at the moment it's a hobby it's it's a passionate hobby I really enjoy working with YouTube and uploading videos to YouTube and helping people that's just nature of who I am but um, yeah uh, at the moment, my my uh, I, I don't have very many subscribers, um, and um, so far, although we are very close to reaching a thousand, so I'm actually really really pleased that my channel has got this far. Um, I'm quite surprised at myself, and I'm also very proud of myself for what I've done with the things that I have. Uh, but yeah, um, there's still a lot more to go. But anyway, that's that's a different story. Yeah, so the point is, is uh, yeah, uh, until I get to a certain point where I've got a lot of people coming to me and, you know, people want to do, ask me anything or like, uh, you know, do live streams and, you know, things like that, then yeah, okay, then fair enough. I'll make long videos then and people can watch back on those videos um, because they are interested, you know, they want to listen to what I have to say. But at the moment, I don't really have that much to say and people don't really have anything um, that they want to ask me, you know, uh, or that they want me to do. There's thousands of other channels out there that are doing these things already. Um, I'm just, you know, one of the many at the moment. Um, so we just have to see how it goes. But... Um, you know, if you keep at it and you keep going, eventually you will become quite successful. Um, you know, you have to be persistent, you have to work at it, you have to put in the effort. And like I say, eventually you will get there. Uh, it just takes time. Um, and if you are trying to use YouTube um, just because you want to make money from YouTube, that's that's just it will never ever happen honestly it will never ever happen if you just have that attitude of you know what i'm going to start a youtube account because um i i i i want to make some money um you know and people are making mad mad money from advertisements and all this sort of stuff like it doesn't work like that the people that are making mad mad money are making mad mad money because they 
YouTube is a full-time job for them. You know, they are making good money because it's a full-time job. They are working every single day, but not just with themselves, okay? They have camera people. They've got thousands of dollars worth of camera equipment, and they've got, you know, seriously powerful editing software. They've got people that edit their videos, and they've got people that help them write their script. They've got all kinds of different things. Um, unless you're one of the, you know, fortunate few that are, you know, able to just, you know, you have YouTube as a side job and you've got quite a large customer base on YouTube or subscriber count that are just interested in the topics that you produce. Um, you know, but a lot of other people, they have uh, people that monitor how they, um, how they are perceived on their channel and they have to have uh, or be in a certain character you know to you know keep their customer base if you start acting like like as let's say quote unquote yourself or you know somebody else that is different then that's you're going to lose subscribers so they, you you need people to keep what you want in check you know there, there's these people that are doing these things just so that they can um you know keep that money flowing because it is a full-time job it is a very um uh you know it's it's a very it's a very technical job as well you know there's a lot of technicalities to it is you know it's not just about uploading a video you need to be able to um you know source your tags you need to um, make thumbnails that are attractive to people you need to figure out what's attractive to people, when it's attractive, how it's attractive, where it's going to be attractive, you know, who are you aiming for? There's lots and lots and lots of different, um, you know, things to take into consideration, these these factors. Uh, it's, it's really complex. It's not just as simple as, you know what, I want to make loads of money on YouTube. Let's, let's make a, let's try and make a viral video um yeah you can make a viral video uh but you know youtube has also these algorithms in place that uh you know it doesn't go viral straight away and there's reasons for that it's because you don't maybe you don't have very high subscribers or like um you know there isn't a view count that is a lot on this particular video um, so it's not being pushed by YouTube's algorithms because it's just not interesting to people or whatever, you know. Um, so, you know, this is this is the thing. But also you have to remember as well is that um, this also, you know, uh, reinforces my point about YouTube is difficult to make money from. So YouTube is for people that want to create and help people and interest people uh, it's not there to make money from the, per se okay and and this is true because you know you'll see uh, for example um, there's a lot of channels out there that have many many subscribers millions of subscribers it's not just a few thousand or you know it's millions of subscribers okay to their channel they are watching their their, their videos all the time but you'll find that some of these channels or in fact a lot of these channels um, they have videos even though they have you know one and a half million subscribers they're only getting you know between 60 and 80 thousand views on a video or some videos are even 20 thousand views you know uh, and these are people with one and a half to two million subscribers. They're only getting 25 to 30, maybe in some videos, 60 or 100 or, you know, in, in others, you know, and there's the odd few videos that they have with, you know, just over a million or, you know, just under a million. Um, but it's mostly, you know, like at least 75% of their videos are within the 100 to the 60,000 view margin okay 
And these are videos that have been on their channel for maybe two or three years, maybe even four years. Um, so YouTube is more of a hobby and it's made so that you can educate other people and you can help other people and they can learn from you so that they can pass their knowledge on that they've learned onto other people and we can grow as a community. That's what YouTube is about. It's not about making loads of money. So if you are in YouTube or trying to use YouTube just so you can make like masses of money, well, I mean, pff, good luck to you because you must be in that like top 2% of people that are just be able to give content that people just want. And, you know, if, if you can do that, great. That's really great. Honestly, that's really, really great. And I, I'll be really happy for you if you, if you can do that. But, um, you know, 90% of the time and 90% of cases, that's not the case. And that's just not how it works. Um, you know, um, and so for like me and a lot of other people that are just, you know, trying to get by and, you know, just uploading videos, I do it because it's a hobby. I think it's interesting and I think it's really cool. And my personality um, allows me to do this to help other people because that's just the person person that who I am I, I really enjoy helping people I want to educate people I want to um, allow people to move forward and learn within you know in themselves and you know in the projects that they want to do if they can't if I can provide something that they can look at and go hey, you know what, that's such a good idea, you know, why didn't I even think of that, or, you know, yeah, that's, that's, he's got some really good logic behind it, why didn't, why didn't, yeah, I, I could have thought about it like this, and yeah, let me, let me try that, yeah, you know, that's what I want to do, I want to say to people, hey, if you have this issue, why don't you try this, why don't you try that, let me help you, you know, um, and that's basically, my personality and that's what allows me to make these videos and upload them to YouTube um, but yeah that's basically it um, and that's yeah a long long video on how I edit videos why I edit videos and um, why I enjoy working with YouTube um, I think it's great I really think it's great it's 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 open you, you can learn so much from watching other people do things um you know they say obviously uh it's it's you learn from doing and not by seeing mostly um i mean a lot for a lot of cases that's kind of true but um youtube is so resourceful it is so educational and so helpful um i can't think of any other platform that is as as helpful as youtube like or other than reddit you know um i i think it's great i really think it's great i can watch people i can watch channels on there i can watch content that i want to watch and the great thing is is i don't have to sit in front of a tv and watch set channels every day at set time because the channel that i want to watch is on at that time i can watch anything i want from any pretty much anybody on the planet that has a youtube account that has uploaded a video we can all watch it and that's really cool um and we can learn we can learn a lot um but yeah anyway i i'm going to end this video here it's been really really long and um yeah so i hope you found this educational i hope it helps and i hope that maybe if you are learning or wanting to edit videos on movie maker it you know kind of push you away from using movie maker no no i mean it's okay it works but yeah i hope you learned something and you found it interesting and uh yeah until the next video guys thank you very much